Hey everybody, I'm Cobra Caroline with Kids Nature Shows, and I'm here with my good friend. This is my good friend. You're my good friend, right? This is my good friend Buzzy. She's a bumblebee. <laughs> and today we're here to help you find out why we should be kind to our friend, the bees. Bees are so misunderstood. A lot of people get nervous when they're being buzzed by bees. Um, but bees, they mean you no harm. Bees just want to be left alone <laughs> so that they can buzz around and they can help us. They actually help us by doing things like pollination, which means that they'll go into a flower, perhaps like this native cross vine, which is actually blooming right behind me on my trellis. <laughs> and pollinators are animals like bees, whoa, but there's other pollinators too, like our friend, the hummingbird. This is my friend Hummer. Mm, Hummer. <laughs> Hummingbirds especially will do um, cross vine pollination. There's other, there's other pollinators too. Also, you may see in your backyard. Well, oh, it's our friend Flutter. Flutter, the swallowtail butterfly. She's so, she also likes to get in around my face. Okay. All right. So those are pollinators that sometimes fly around us and they'll go and they'll get the nectar or the pollen from the flowers. Um, bees will actually eat pollen, but they'll also eat the nectar and they'll take them back to the nest and they'll make honey with it. And that's something that we also like. So we like to eat the honey from bees, but we also like to eat the things that we get from the pollination, like fruits, like this orange, or maybe fruits like a lemon. How many of you like to eat lemonade? I know I do. And so our good friends, oh, like our good friends, Buzzy the Bee, can help us with those delicious delights. So bees are definitely beneficial. They're also really not something to be too afraid of. I mean, yeah, they are venomous. They have a stinger they can inject, but they don't want to sting anybody. They don't want to sting you, that's for sure. Bees can actually only sting one time, whereas wasps and hornets actually do have the ability to sting multiple times. And the reason for that is bees actually only sting in defense. Bees because they don't hunt their food, they eat pollen and nectar, and in the case of a strange South American bee, they eat meat. Um, but they, they take things back and then they eat it or make honey. Whereas hornets and wasps actually eat insects, so they use their stinger and hornets to capture their prey, bugs, which might be eating crops. So definitely wasps and hornets are great to have around. We absolutely need them. They're fantastic for pest control, but they're a little different than our good friend the bees. <laughs> So, so bees and hornets and wasps all have their place. And bees, especially our native bees, like the bumblebees and some of our other ground nesting bees, well, they can actually use our help these days. They're, they're, um, some of them are actually, well, disappearing. And there are some things that you can do that can actually help our good friends like Buzzy here. Yeah, that's right. The first thing that we can do to help our good friends is to not use pesticides. Pesticides are designed for, for, well, you know, getting rid of insects. So the less pesticides that we use, the better. In fact, if you can just eliminate pesticides from your garden, that's the best. And not only will Buzzy thank you, <laughs> her other friends, like our good friend Flutter. Oh, here she go, Flutter. Flutter thanks you too. <laughs> okay. All right. So another great thing is if we stop using pesticides, some of the wildflowers that live in lawns, like violets, which are native to the Washington DC area, um, also dandelions, and clover. These are all flowers that really feed bees, especially in early spring when they really need that food the most. So those are some great ways to help our good friend the pollinators. And a final way that I'm going to talk about today is you can actually help bees and other pollinators by planting flowers. So today we're going to help some bees by planting some flowers. So first I'm going to have my little friend Buzzy buzz on out of here. Okay, bye bye Buzzy. It was good to see you, Buzzy. Okay, she's flying out of here. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab some seeds that we got online. And <laughs> these are zinnias. And zinnias are so much fun to grow. They are beautiful and they get, well, kind of big, um, maybe like three feet tall. And so they come in many different colors, as you can see. So I'm just going to open the packet up a little. I'm not going to open it up the whole way. These seeds are... Um, Whoops, see, there went a seed. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, there went another seed. They're kind of really small. I'm going to reach down and get it. I don't want to waste any of these seeds. Look at how small they are. Whoa. 
Can you even see that? It's, oh, pfft, good job. Okay, it's actually, I still caught it. All right, th there, there it is. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these zinnia seeds and I'm going to plant it in a little cup. So you may have some plastic cups around. I have just some of these kinds of cups right here. And we're just going to take one. And now with this, it's a garden marker. So it's actually made to be waterproof. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to write on the cup Zinnia. Here, maybe I'll do it in front of the camera since, you know, I'm doing camera things now. All right. So we're going to plant a Zinnia in here. And so now I'm going to take a pencil. Whoa, so much stuff we have to get. And I'm going to poke a little hole in the bottom of the cup. Okay. Whoa, maybe, maybe I'll poke another hole. We want to have good drainage. Oh, that hole's pretty big. Okay, so I think that's good. So now I'm going to get some potting soil. You don't want to use regular garden soil. It is important to use potting soil. So I'm just going to put on a garden glove. So I'm going to get my garden glove here. I'm going to set the cup down. Hope it doesn't blow away. It's pretty windy today. So I'm going to get my garden glove and now I'm going to grab some organic potting soil and I'm just reaching over here into a bag and I'm getting the soil. Now I'm just going to stick it in the cup here. All right, maybe just a little bit more. Boy, isn't virtual nature programming great? No, it really is. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I hope that you are too. Um, be sure to be following me on uh, Kids Nature Shows on Facebook, kidsnatureshows.com, the blog, um, all good things. So I'm just tamping, I'm tamping the dirt down. And um, now what I'm gonna do is take the zinnia seed. I'm gonna take off my glove because I cannot wear those uh, gloves and hold these little teeny tiny seeds. I'm gonna take this little tiny seed and I'm just gonna use my finger and just kind of mush it in there. Very, very easy. And now I'm gonna take this and then I'm just gonna tamp it down. And then I'm gonna get some water. So I actually, I didn't fill this up with any water. So I'm gonna to have to go do that next. So then, you know, you, you would water this until it gets nice and wet and that will help germinate the seed. And I actually would recommend, maybe you go ahead and put two seeds in here that way in case one of them doesn't germinate the other one will and then just see who grows best and then snip the other one with a pair of scissors and then what you can do is when the seedling is about this tall and has more than its two little tiny leaves it grows another set of leaves which are the real leaves then you can just go ahead and take the paper cup away from this and then plant this right in the ground or into a bigger pot and then you'll eventually end up with some beautiful flowers. And those beautiful flowers, like these guys, these, this is not zinnias, these are the cross vine flowers. Then those beautiful flowers will attract all kinds of friends, like our, whoa, our friends, Flutter the Butterfly, and our friend Hummer, whoa, Hummer, oh my goodness, whoa. And then, of course, our delightful friend who we wanted to learn all about today, Buzzy, Buzzy the Bumblebee. Buzzy the Bumblebee and me want to say to everybody out there to be kind to our friends, the bees. All right, everybody. I'm Cobra Caroline from Kids Nature Show. Be well out there. Bye-bye.